Well, thanks once again for joining me. I'm back at my, um, oh, one of my favourite uh, locations just to the south of where I live. Uh, it's just about 10 or 15 minutes south of my house in central Victoria. And um, I don't have anything specific to film today, but uh, it's around about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, yeah, it's quite a pleasant day. The cockies are a bit upset with something. I thought regardless, I'll post this vlog, you know, regardless of whether I get uh, some, you know, really what I consider really interesting material or otherwise. So hopefully I can make it interesting, even if it's just giving you an idea of what I'm up to and maybe some uh, the camera gear I'm using and the like. Uh, but it's a beautiful part of the country here. Sort of hill country, a lot of rocks that you can see in the background. So anyway, I'll get settled in. I'm, um, I'm just going to be using the um, GH5 with the 100 to 400, which is an amazing lens. Uh, sharp as attack and the, um, the dual, um, Im the dual image stabilization. It's, it's just, uh, you know, it, it, it's to the extent that you almost don't need a tripod. So uh, I've got a little monopod that uh, I'll grab if I really need some uh, some help. But uh, generally speaking, I can film handheld with this. Yes, I've just filmed the wedge tail landing on the tree just on top of the hill there, which is its favorite tree. So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to sit still for a little while and, and as I said, just scan with binoculars and, and hopefully find something that I can, something of interest that I can film. It's been a couple of hours, I think, since I last checked in and it's got uh, very dark. It's only 4.30 in the afternoon, but um, yeah, the light's not the best. I was quite pleased uh, because um, a little um, crimson rosella, little fem, you know, I think it was a female. Yeah, it just turned up, and it was quite happy to go about its business in amongst the rocks. It's um, it's just below the tree behind me. I don't know if you can make out the bird just rummaging around in the background there, but. Um, Yes, I was quite happy to get a bit of footage of the Rosella while the uh, wedge-tailed eagle it either had a go at uh, the cockatoos or it certainly uh, spooked them uh, over on the far hill, so I just filmed, filmed them for a little while. Um, but yeah, it's, as I said, it's become very dark and I think even if something did happen I don't think the light would be particularly complimentary. I was filming here the other night and I was quite uh, pleased when a fine-tailed cuckoo just turned up in front of me. He started uh, singing away. So that was good to get that, uh, or get the audio at least, that was good. But you know, the video worked out well. What I guess would... Um, round off the night as the Karawongs, the grey Karawongs. They sometimes uh, rummage in, in around the uh, leaf litter down here. So if I see some opportunity there, I might might head down there and, and film there. But anyway, um, as I said, I don't want to just post uh, blogs where everything goes smoothly and, and it all works out. Uh, I also, um, you know, want to mix it up a bit with um, just, I guess, vlogs like today where it's just getting out and, you know, as you get a few little snippets of uh, footage, but, um, but generally speaking, it's been pretty quiet. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, well I've just noticed the Karawong foraging just down in the, uh, just that tree behind me. 
Yeah, well, I don't know if you can see the the carawong just behind me. I think it's pretty much in the middle of the frame. And uh, yeah, it sort of um, made up for what has been a sort of pretty long afternoon. So yeah, it's been nice to get some uh, some footage. It's quite happy going about its business. Probably 60 feet from me, I suppose. Oh, that worked out quite well. I ended up getting uh, getting some nice uh, Karawong footage there. It's not a particularly exciting bird, but uh, but nonetheless, it was nice. Nice to uh, be able to get some close and really pleased with that uh, Panasonic lens. I haven't had it for too long, but uh, it's great, you know, being able to film without uh, having to worry about tripods all the time. I've sort of started using a bit of ISO. Might be a bit of noise in that uh, Karawong footage there. The uh, This lens, 100 to 400. As I said, the stabilization is great. But uh, it's not a particularly fast lens. So, um, and I think with this light, it's, uh, yeah, pretty much got the best I'm going to get out of it. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll call it a day. But that would have been lovely if it was filming, uh, you know, with nicer light, uh, you know, that car along there. But anyway, might, uh, I might get it on another night. Anyway, I uh, managed to get a, a bit of footage that was worth the walk down the hill to get the car along. Yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. I'm gonna head home and um, yeah, I'll check out my footage. It's not been a particularly interesting afternoon, but uh, but yeah, I hope you got something out of it. And um, yeah, until the next time, thanks for watching once again, and uh, take care.